Hey guys, I'm Grant with Downtime Media and in this video, I'm gonna be installing this light bar onto my E46 wagon. This is a 20 inch blazer LED light bar, single stack obviously, and we're gonna try and fit this in the lower grill of my E46 wagon. Here in Utah, we get a lot of snow and it's very fun to take the wagon out and slide and drift and do all that stuff in. So just for the winter, I've done a fun downtime winter rally livery. And to complete it, I wanna throw a little light bar on. So let me pull the wagon in and we'll get started installing this light bar. All right, so now that we've got the wagon in the garage, here's the game plan. So because the base model E46 has this nice little lower grill, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll take the bumper off, cut out some of these center fins to fit the light bar in, and then I'll just wire it right up to the fog lights so that it can be turned on with just the fog light button. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove the bumper, and then we'll get this thing on a table and figure out where exactly we need to cut and how we wanna mount this light bar. And if you want a tutorial on removing your E46 front bumper, I'll link it up here in the corner of the screen and it'll also be down in the description. I've got a detailed tutorial taking these front bumpers off, so go check that out. All right, now that we've got our bumper out, we can start mocking up where we want to actually install our LED. I want it to go basically where this grill is. So, I've got the light bar laid out pretty much centered where I want it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a Dremel and I think I'll just mark the edges here and cut here and cut here on this upper fin. That's gonna give me the freedom to drop this in and through to get the depth that I want. And then I'll be able to just put these mounts on here, mount it straight in through here so it's hanging down. And then it will actually retain the stock look of the bumper. It'll just have the light bar instead of this bar. So that's the game plan. I'm gonna get this marked where I need to cut it. I'm gonna get out my Dremel and I'm just gonna start cutting this top section of the grill away. I'll put you on time lapse for that and then We'll go from there. All right, so I got the cutout made, everything's cleaned up, and the light bar fits perfectly in there with just a little space on the edges where I left the fins. So we'll put the mounting hardware on and get it drilled and mounted, and then we'll do the wiring. All right, so I made some adjustments to the brackets, just drilled and filed new holes. And now when we drop this in here, with the brackets all the way to the top of the bumper, we're basically centered right where the old fin used to be. What we gotta do now is flip this over, mark the holes, drill them, and then we can bolt this thing on. Okay, so the bar is ready to be mounted. I've got it down here and I'm checking the wiring. So I've got my fog lights on and taking the red is the hot wire from the light bar and black is the ground wire. And the brown wire in the E46 wiring harness is ground and the yellow and brown is the hot. Put the ground in and the hot and we get light. So this is the correct wiring. Red goes to yellow and brown, black goes to brown, and that'll power your light. So now it's just a matter of figuring out how we want to splice this harness to get our light into it so that it stays weather tight. I think I've come up with a pretty good plan to get it done in a one, removable way, two, safe way, and three, as easy as possible. So here's what I've got. So we've got our two harness lines, the original harness lines coming out of the car. What the plan is, is clip the original harness before the fog light connector, insert terminal wire connectors in between the original harness and the fog light connector, and then take the light bar hot and ground, and on the end of the light bar right here, I'll put 
spade connectors, and then with extra 14 gauge wire that I've got, I'll put spade connectors on the ends and then run those wires into their respective terminal wire connector. So in theory, we've got the original harness split into the original fog light connector and also running straight out to a disconnectable light bar. Like I said, I'm trying to make it removable. So if I have to pull the bumper off, I can unplug those spade connectors so the harness stays, the light bar comes out with the bumper. So I'm just gonna start by crimping on the spade connectors onto the light bar. And I am alternating for each side. So I've got a male end here and a female end here, just so that it's a little tougher to get them mixed up. <clears throat> All right, the light bar has spade connectors. So we got our two lengths of splice-in wire. We've got our connections for the light bar. So now I gotta strip back the tape on this harness. So now we can clip these. Okay, so now I can strip these. Okay, so we've got our ground stripped. So we've got all of our wire stripped. Now we can take our extension wires Cut our extenders shorter. So I've got my grounds twisted together. We'll throw that into our connector joint. We can crimp it. So we got our extension and our original harness in there. And now we can connect it to our ground, which is our brown wire. I'm gonna strip back more wire on the original harness and fold it over and double it. Lot better. Okay, it's on there tight. Get a yellow crimp on our hot end. All right, so we got our hot wire crimped. Now we got to crimp in our extension for the hot, and then crimp that into our terminal connector. So now we got our extenders wired up to our respective hot and ground. So you do the lights on and then the fog light button. Yeah, all right. Okay, so the light bar turns on so we can disconnect these. Cool, so now we gotta rewrap this with tape and then install the light into the bumper and then throw it back on. Okay, so I got the harness all taped up to the original fog light wires and then our extenders to our LED light bar. Okay, now we get wiring sorted. We can uh, throw this thing in with the provided hardware. Bar is really firm in the bumper. Feels good. Got our wires ready to go. So now we can throw this thing on the ground, get it connected up, and throw it on the car. Okay, so we get the bumper reinstalled, the light bar's in, and the rest of the grills are put in. The whole bottom grill stayed original, and then we cut the top to fit in the bar, and it's the same all the way across. And if you're standing, you'd never know there's a light bar on it. But you look down, and it's just tucked right into the grill, very stealth, until you turn it on. in the car view. So this is with completely dark. That's with the light bar and the fog lights, of course. And then with the headlights, just headlights, fog lights and light bar. Just the light bar with the headlights. Not bad, it's pretty bright.